Welcome back, and I'm here with Mashal Montano, the greatest artist. So anyway, he just ripped the stage. As you can tell, he left everything blank, nothing but bottles and paper. So how do you feel to be out here performing in Six Flags? Oh man, it's spectacular. That, that's the real ride out there. That's the best ride in the park today. You call that mashing it up fine, fine, fine splinters. The crowd was wonderful today. You know, we had we had everything today. We started off with some rain, then we got some sun. We went from the day to the night. I really had a good time. I saw because you had the outfit going on, the dancers were popping. So what else could more could you say about that? I mean it's a special crowd when we come to Six Flags. It's our fans from New York. Some people come from, you know, as far as Canada, people came from Miami just mm -hmm. to see the show just to enjoy the show to jump up in the day to be able to bring the kids you know to be able to have um what we call you know a carnival in summertime and i saw somebody with a sign out there saying christmas in july <laughs> you know it was like that you know it was like it sure yeah. was yeah. yeah okay so being starting that you started at a young age making hits after hits after hits to what you are doing now so how does it feel to even you know actually feel this experience going on now I mean, I've been doing this a long time, and you know, for me, it's more like the revolution of my people and my culture, you know. When I came into the game, it was Calypso music, you know, I was introduced to Soca, and I realized that Soca was something that could really touch the world. Our music is an uplifting music, and I feel very fortunate to be in it this long, to be blessed with so many, you know, hits or songs that my fans could sing from since I was nine years old to now when I'm 19. <laughs> and, you know, um, I feel good to be in this position. I don't feel like a veteran yet. I feel very experienced, very blessed, and still, you know, very much ready for, for what is to come ahead. Okay, so I read somewhere that it was your dream to actually fill the Madison Square Garden. So to actually do that now and go to New York from Trinidad and actually have that filled now, would you say as a crossover artist, who would you want to work with eventually, like American artists during? I mean, I've worked with so many that it was so great. Pitbull is somebody that I work with a lot today. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with Lil John. I've worked with Shaggy, Beanie Man, Red Rat, you know, Dougie Fresh was one of my greatest experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, I have uh, a love for all the artists that I've worked with because they work so hard yeah. and they represent, you know, what I would always like to represent Marsha Montano, that, that dedication to giving the crowd what they want, giving the fans what they want. I mean, there are many people I would have loved to work with Michael Jackson, you yeah. know, but, you know, um, rest his soul and rest in peace because he is the one that really inspired us and he inspired a lot of great artists that followed people like Neo. I would love to work with him. People like, you know, Jay-Z, people like Beyonce, you know, people like Swiss Beats, people like Timbaland, you know, Lil Wayne, Drake, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, He's you know, big, He's yeah, yeah, the dream, <laughs> everybody who is doing their thing right now, mm -hmm. who's going in hard and, and, and creating that work, Alicia Keys, so many great artists right now. I think we blessed musically. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of young people who take it very seriously and taking it further okay now I noticed that you have album 34 out so like tell us a little bit about that like what's going on with the album that's what it says I'm, I'm on my 34th album okay. and I'm about to make my first international crossover album I'm about to start working on it in September mm -hmm. to hopefully release in summer you know 2011 mm -hmm. And my job is to really take soca music further and work with a lot of young artists, working with a lot of producers who are really interested in capture, capturing this energy mm -hmm. and putting it on the mainstream radio, putting it in, you know, the mainstream halls and arenas around the world, like the staple centers and the, the big stadiums. They believe that we could take soca music further. And I have a lot of people like Ricky Blaze, mm -hmm. you know, working side by side, people like Fred Rowe, a lot of producers interested and would love to just, you know, take it to the limit. All right. Now, being that Tempo, you know, is the biggest supporter of you. So how do you feel that Tempo brings, you know, your music across the world and influences other people? I feel very fortunate to stand with Tempo, you know, because oh, really? Tempo is like a piece of me. You know, big up Frederick Morton, you know, big up people like Shaggy, people like Wycliffe, the people who really went in in the beginning and, you know, the people who are still here, you know, because Tempo is what you call a real reflection of the Caribbean. You know, we are in real time. The most important thing to unite the Caribbean should have been the Federation, should have been the governments. Sometimes we do it in music, 
but tempo is one of the most significant steps that unite the Caribbean. If Marsha Montano was to jump up on November the 5th in Trinidad and Tobago and tempo was there, they're going to see it in every Caribbean island at the same time. That brings us together. That keeps us connected in real time. That's like, you know, not even the internet. So I believe that tempo is an integral factor in bringing the Caribbean nation together and putting us on the world stage. Very significant. They've been one of my biggest supporters. I stand side by side with Tempo. Well, there you have it. This is Masha Montano on Tempo. So keep yeah. it locked.